Well, today we are going to board the MSC Seaside. We are going to be leaving from Port Canaveral, Florida. We're going to take you all the way from entering the cruise port to boarding the ship. We're going to tell you everything you need to know and some tips we learned along the way. Here we go. Tip number one. Be sure to know which terminal your ship is located at and beware GPS could possibly lead you astray. We didn't know what terminal we were supposed to go to and GPS took us to terminals one through three. This is the terminal that we have used with Royal Caribbean and Carnival many times. If you just put Port Canaveral into your GPS, you may end up in the wrong terminal. This also happened to us once in Miami. Tip number two, leave early. You never know what's gonna happen and nobody wants to miss the ship. Tip number three, ask for directions. So the luggage drop off? Yes ma'am, you're gonna go to the stop sign and make a wide U-turn to the cones. Thank you, thank you very much. Asking directions can save you time and aggravation. So know before you go. That's why we have this channel to help you know before you go. We're this close guys, we're just gonna walk right across this little parkway over the parking garage here. And here we are where we pick up the bags when we come back. And there's a terminal entrance sign right there. We're gonna go right across here to the terminal. Hey, we want to take a moment to ask you if you're enjoying this video in any way, how about giving us a thumbs up? If you would like to support this channel, please consider becoming a member or hit the super thanks icon below. We really do appreciate it. Mm. And subscribe to the channel. We would really love to have you as part of the Sea Lake Journey crew. Now, back to the video. Mm. Tip number four, book the Yacht Club to avoid the long lines. Because we're in the Yacht Club, we get to go past all this line you see over here on the side of us. So, this is the advantage of being in the Yacht Club on this cruise. And off we go. It did come out and tell us if you are wheelchair assist or you have you know, handicap assistance you're going to need, you would stay to the left in this line if you went in and go to 10, 11, 12, and 13. Those are the lines at the end you would go to for special wheelchair assist. But we're heading this way, past all the line, because of the Yacht Club. So if you want to get past all this, Yacht Club is the ticket, y'all. Oh my gosh, Chet, we've been walking forever. Where is the front of this line? I don't know, but I hope we get there soon. Me too. Tip number five, sometimes boarding delays are inevitable. Be prepared to wait. And make sure you keep your party together. Sitting here waiting in the yacht club, they bring us over some. Champagne, it's a Prosecco champagne or a mimosa. They also have chocolates on the table back there, water, um, juices, chips, Pringles, nuts, yep. chocolate covered nuts. So they're starting to take people now in order that we came in and get their uh, wristbands and things like that ready. So I think we're number four on the list and now serving number three is next, so. Um, this is a very nice little room we're sitting in. Um, the Yacht Club right now, I'd say there's less than 80 people sitting here, maybe about 50. But yeah. <laughs> also, we want to make a note what, things are a little bit slower today it's because this is the first time the Seaside's been to North America. Thank you. They're having a little bit of, issues with the uh, IT stuff, getting the uh, internet matched up. Also, they're swapping over from the Euro to the dollar, which is another important factor. Plus, the Coast Guard has to come and do their evaluation, and all the crew had to come off and go through customs before they could do anything. So it's normally not this slow, but... Okay, y'all, it's a Sea Lake Journey update. We are standing here with our butler, as you see right behind us. And it's 108. Okay, it's 108 now. It's been two hours. We're fixing to get on the ship. As we explained to you, there's been a lot of holdups, but that's beyond their control, a lot of it. So we're going to be boarding here in a few minutes and show you what it's like. It was getting a little crowded over there. Tip number six. You do not have to stop to have your picture taken unless you would like that great souvenir. Tip number seven. You might want to go to the bathroom in the port before you board the ship. The gangway can be a very long walk, but 
This is where you start feeling the excitement of boarding the ship. Even the people watching us walk up that boardwalk were excited to see us go. Hey! <laughs> you know what? It's a beautiful day. We've got a good group of people. Yes. We're about to have some fun. Well, yeah. and let's do it! Let's do it. Tip number eight. As you're boarding the ship, you'll come to a security desk. There is no video recording at that point until you pass the security desk. Then you can start recording again. Tip number nine. You're now on the ship. Let your fabulous vacation begin and leave your worries behind you. I'm not pushing a wheelchair. Why am I not pushing a wheelchair? Because the butler's pushing it. How about that? Oh yeah, look at that. She's happy now. She's on a cruise ship. Tip number 10. Subscribe to the channel. There's not many free things in life, but subscribing to this channel is free. Is it really? Yes. About that. <laughs> this was our first MSC cruise and we loved it. The Yacht Club experience made this cruise something special. MSC made such a great first impression that we booked it again for next May. Since the Yacht Club proved to be worth the extra cost, we will be staying in it once again also. You better believe it. Uh huh. We recommend that you consider MSC for your next cruise vacation. If you would like to support this channel, please consider becoming a member. Or hit the super thanks icon below. We really do appreciate it. Mm. Until next time, we'll see you around the channel. See you around the channel.